Hey guys, if you watched my last video, you may remember seeing this add-on board for the Minty Pie. This board from Helder is an optional addition to his button PCB, and what this will do when combined with some scripts written by Hulihu on the forums is it'll add an on-screen battery indicator to your Minty Pie, sort of like you have on your cell phone. It's a really nice feature to have because without that, there's really no way to tell how much battery life you have left until it dies, which of course is not ideal. It's got a couple of other nice features that I'll get to here in a minute, and it's pretty straightforward to add on to your build. It shouldn't take very long at all, but I thought it might help some people out if I put together a quick video showing how to do it, so let's get started. Okay, so the battery monitor board has these two pinholes, which line up with these two power input pads on the bottom of the button PCB. So what we're going to do is attach it by flowing some solder down into both of those pinholes to attach it to the pads below it, sort of like we did with the Raspberry Pi. And if you already assembled your Minty Pi and you're adding this on, then of course you're going to have to disassemble the lower portion of it so that you can get at the bottom of the button PCB. And then you're also going to have to remove the two wires that are going to the power input pads. So now we're going to connect two small pieces of wire to both of these pads here. This pad is going to go to this second GPIO pinhole, and then this pad is going to go to the one right next to it, this third one over here on the bottom. These are the inputs that the scripts from Hulihu are watching and measuring how much charge is left in your battery. So the last thing that we need to connect is the actual power input. Now where before we were connecting the battery charger to the VCC and ground pads that are below this board, now we're going to be connecting that to these battery plus and battery minus pads on the monitor board. So that's it, our battery monitor board is installed. I mentioned earlier that there were a couple other features. One of them is when the battery gets critically low, then it'll automatically initiate a safe shutdown. On the Raspberry Pi, if you just cut off power by either the battery running out or flipping the power switch without doing a safe shutdown, then you can corrupt your SD card, which can be kind of a pain for something like the Minty Pi, where you have to take it apart to get to the SD card. That's why normally you need to shut it down by going through the emulation station menu and selecting shut down before you actually cut the power to it. But with the scripts that Hulihu wrote, when this detects that your battery gets critically low, it'll automatically initiate that safe shutdown sequence for you. But something else that he added was an easy way to manually trigger that safe shutdown without even having to jump out of whatever game you're in. And you can do that by attaching a tactile switch or some other kind of button to this GPIO pinhole right here. It's the eighth one in from this side and it's on the outside, this one right here. So you'll attach one leg of it to a ground pin, which there are a lot of options to get to that on here, and then you'll attach the other leg of it to this pinhole. And so if you hold that button down for a second, then it'll automatically start shutting the system down for you. But that's a new button that you're going to have to add somewhere on your Minty Pie. And there are a few options of where you can add that. One thing that I've seen somebody on the forums do is drill a hole right here opposite of the start and select button holes and just adding another tactile switch right there. And then the other option is to add another hole on the front of the tin somewhere. I would think like right here next to the power switch would be a good spot. So then you could put your tactile switch that you're running to the shutdown pin right there beside the power switch. So like I say, that's a really nice feature, but it is optional. So if you're not worried about that and you're fine just shutting it down through the emulation station menu, you can just keep doing that and just use the battery monitor portion of it. Now I keep mentioning these scripts by Hulihu. As you might guess, after you install this, you will need some software updates to make that work. I've gone ahead and updated the pre-made RetroPie image. So if you want, you can just burn that to another SD card and it should be all set up for you. If you've already got your SD card set up just the way you want it with maybe, you know, a certain theme selected and a bunch of games added, you pull it down from Hulihu's Git repo and run it and install it yourself. That's probably your best bet because you can just add that onto it without messing up anything. So I've already got that on this card, so let's boot it up and see how it works. Alright, so after it boots up, you can see we've got our battery icon here in the upper right, and that icon will show up even if you're in a game. So if you want to turn it on and off, you can just hold down the select button for a few seconds, and it'll toggle it on and off. And then I've got my safe shutdown button here, so if I hold that down for a second, 
it'll shut down the system for me. Well, I think that about does it, guys. If you're planning on adding this to your build, then I hope you found this useful. And if you'd like to get your hands on one of these boards to add to your minty pie, check out the link in the description. Helder still has some of these in stock, but I don't know how long they'll last. So if you want one, I'd recommend going over there and getting one as soon as you can. Now, as far as the screen and button PCB combo, those are still out of stock right now. But some good news, Helder will be doing another batch of those in the next few weeks. So keep an eye out for that. And that next batch will actually have the components for this monitor board added to it. So you won't even have to do this modification if you get in on the next batch that he's doing. And another nice update that he'll be doing with that next batch, the screen will actually be soldered directly to this board. So you won't have to worry about trimming this ribbon cable and adding masking tape to it like I showed in the guide or anything like that. It should be ready to go out of the box, which is going to be really nice. And entries for the Minty Pie giveaway that I'm doing are still going on. They'll be open through the end of August. So again, check out the link in the description where you'll be able to enter to win one of those. And Helder let me know that he actually wants to chip in a unit to give away as well. So there will actually be two winners chosen and your odds of winning one actually just doubled. So thanks to Helder for chipping that in as well. Big thanks to Helder for sending me this and for making it in the first place. And a thanks to Hulihu as well for chipping in the code to make this work. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.